Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a product updates video, but first I wanted to share with you a very small haul. Part of the things are from my sister. She came back from Hawaii. She was in Hawaii for, uh, for five days or so and she brought me back these sunglasses from Forever 21. They're really cool. I don't have anything like this, so uh, I was glad she picked it out for me. And it has the gold right here, and I think these are just really cool. Okay, and next are these really cute, it's a really cute contact lens case. Uh, then a couple of Hello Kitty things. This is a tote within a tote. It's so cute. It says Aloha Hello Kitty on it, and just really, really adorable. This is adorable as well. It's a Hello Kitty keychain that says Hawaii on it. And then uh, this candle with some shells in there. It doesn't, this doesn't have a scent. So um, it's just, I think it's, this is the kind of thing like you put in your bathroom. It's decorative, but you don't ever light it up. And then I got two things I want to share with you from Macy's. This top here is Style & Co. And this is such a beautiful shirt because if you see her, like her headband, not her headband, sorry, her hair tie, her glasses, her vest, her top here, and even her purse has detailing on it that's, um, it's real, uh, not real, but you know, it's gems, actual gems on there, and I thought this was such a fun shirt, and very clever to do that with her, sort of like her accessories, and I just really, really like it. So, I got that, and then, can we... Can we discuss the problem that I have with kimonos? Another kimono. This one is also by Style & Co. And I don't, I'm just obsessed. I cannot help it. When I see one, if there's a slight inkling that I'm gonna, that I like it, I will get it. I just, I don't know, I can't, I can't stop myself. So if there's a kimono anonymous group that I can join, let me know. Alright, so for the products for the past month that I have been using, it's been a struggle actually to use uh, some of these products just because I'm also trying to finish up products. So um, it's like I have to fight the urge to want to use up all the products that I'm trying to use up and also trying to use new products. So let's get started the first thing and the biggest thing here is this top care moisturizing dry skin lotion I really like this it says compared to Vaseline lotion and I think that it's just as good and it's a little bit cheaper so I I do like this and I'm always gonna try different lotions but this one was really good and I believe that's a Wegmans brand okay next you know what, let me do hair stuff this is the mystic divine argan and Manoy oils nourishing leave-in conditioner and I this was a freebie that my sister got and she gave it to me I don't particularly like this product I wouldn't get it again I'm gonna try to use it up um, it's you know it helps me detangle my hair but I don't feel like it's doing anything else so um, I wouldn't get it again. Uh, next is the American Crew. This is for men, but it's called the Alternator Flexible Styling and Finishing Spray. I I like this, and it does leave my hair with. Um, it's not doesn't leave my hair crispy or anything, but it does give it some hold. I don't know if I would get this again. Um, I'm still on the lookout for a hairspray that is going to hold my hair but not make it crispy. Uh, next hair product is the sexy style sexy hair or sexy hair uh, control maniac and it's seven shine and seven hold and I was kind of disappointed by this it's it just looks like a wax and so that's what it looks like and I just don't feel like it says it says maximum hold but I don't think it does that it it does do okay I put some on for like the flyaways and it does a pretty good job of that but I don't feel like it holds my hair as well as it, it should and this is not a cheap product and I've been finding that I've been kind of disappointed with more uh, with higher end hair products and I think I'm just gonna stick to a drugstore uh, do I have any more hair stuff? I don't think so. And, oh, this is a fun product. This is the, what's the name of it? The Pro Link Spa Gel Toe Separator, which I got from Amazon. And they look like this. 
I always have gotten the foamy ones that break apart really easily. These I've used several times and they're fantastic and they're not expensive. I got mine I think for like two or three dollars so a really great price and I would highly recommend this last much longer than uh, those foamy strip things. Um, I think what's left is kind of like the makeup arena. All right, uh, so a brush that I've been using that I have been loving. This is the Echo Eco. <laughs> I'm never gonna get that right. I'm so sorry. It's the Echo Tools, and this is the stippling brush. Fantastic for powder products. I use it to contour, and I feel like it gives a really I want to say flawless like airbrush kind of finish um, that's what these brushes tend to do and I also used it for blush and you can use it for highlight I haven't tried it for liquid foundation which I've been meaning to do um, I'll let you know how that goes if I ever do try it for that but I love it for powder products and let's continue on here this is the Maybelline master highlight uh, blush and highlight all-in-one and I did use a little bit today but I feel like you could get really uh, you could go a little bit too far with these kinds of products I don't know they put some kind of silver I feel like color in there and it just doesn't look pretty if you apply too much so if you have this and you have trouble working with it just try a little bit at a time and maybe it'll work out for you I don't think I could get any more of these I have two and I'm just not in love with either of them uh, this is a product that I got from my Mimi box it's the Dino Plants Pearl Bay, Bay Invasion and I I didn't know what this was when I opened it up and I figured out it was a uh, illuminator or a highlighter and I really like this. I did put this on. You can mix this with your foundation. I put a little bit on over here and it gives you just just a really subtle glow. I am not one for a glowy foundation, but I do like this product. I feel like the consistency is nice and it just gives you a really nice glow without being too much. And you could put more if you wanted to, but it, this that's a lot. Um, but once you rub it out or blend it out, see it's the, you could see the glow, but it's not like shimmer or sparkle, sparkle or anything like that. Let me rub that off. And then this foundation is the only foundation that I've, the a new foundation that I've tried in the past month. And it's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. And I have the color Warm Nude. And it's a perfect match for me even now. It might be, I haven't really tanned, so it's probably going to work for me for all year round. And I I know that there is some type of test you could do with this for three weeks to see better improvement in skin. I have to be honest, I haven't used it for three weeks and I do like it. I'm wearing it now and I feel like it has decent coverage and I, and my skin has been, now that I say this, it's gonna, my skin is probably gonna go become really bad again. Uh, my skin has been on a really good behavior and I feel like when your skin is good in a good state, found any foundation you put on is going to look good, even if it's kind of like a bad foundation. Not saying that this is bad. I haven't used it enough to uh, see, say whether the claims work or not, but I do like this. I don't like it as much as the other Superstay because I feel like that one has better coverage, but this one is good and the color match was really, really nice. Color match was really nice? It was okay, a good color so moving match. on to eyeshadow, I have not really been using a lot of makeup, especially doing intricate or involved eye looks. I've just been, for some my summer makeup, it's just been a little bit of concealer where I need it, powder, blush, mascara, and if I do want to do an eye look, I've been using the Estee Lauder Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette, which is an older palette. You, you might be able to find it on eBay. Um, maybe your mom has it. This is that's where I got mine from, and I've been loving using this just for simple eye looks. The colors are just so perfect for that, and I want to show you the two that I have been reaching for the most, which are the two browns in here, of course. But they're just worked so well together. And let me show you the swatch, my hand here. So I've been using those two for uh, my, if I do want to do an eyeshadow look, which hasn't been a lot. It's been, for the last two weeks, we've gotten this crazy heat wave where it's like high 80s and 90s 
every day, which I appreciate in the summertime. Um, but I also, I, it's not my favorite season. I love the fall and spring and even winter. I'm just that. I used to love the summer, but my body is just gets overheated too fast and the mosquitoes love me and it's just not a fun time. But I do appreciate the summertime. Okay, uh, next product is the Dura Lash by Ardell. It's a single lash. And I don't know where these have been all my life, but these are fantastic. So much easier to use than regular lashes. If you're like me and you avoid false lashes, false eyelashes, I would try the single ones and just put like three or four at the ends here. And you're, it changes the way that you your eye looks. And I, I didn't do it today. I'm just too lazy. But if you want to experiment with false eyelashes, these are a great way to go. Single lashes. And not you don't even have to get it from them. Uh, I know other companies make the single lash. Uh, this lash glue, this is the Ardell Clear Adhesive Lash Type for individual lashes. And I probably wouldn't get this again. I needed something because I did have the individual lashes. This... I feel like is not as good as uh, Dual Lash or um, well, that Dual Lash is really the only other brand I've tried so, and I've, I I want to get the Revlon one the one you know with the applicator I just haven't yet so maybe I'll get that next time at I'm at a store uh, then several lip products here this is the Leo Ellie lip color stick I don't know the color I got it from a Mimi box this is fantastic. I've had such great luck with Mimi Box lip products. Uh, I think Asians or Koreans specifically get it right with the lipstick department. This is long lasting. The color is pretty and you could even use it for your cheeks, which I've done and it does stay for a while. So I really like this product. Uh, I'm the one I'm wearing the lip product is the NARS in Corella, which I love this color. I think it's fantastic. It's so really wearable red and I forgot to blot so there was a line there probably for the entire video uh, and then here's Rukud, Rukujian and this is a nice everyday color I I don't like it as much as the Corella one so this is the velvet matte lip pencil and then this is satin lip pencil really like the matte better uh, this is the Maybelline Color Blur, Color Blur. I'm blushing. I wore this recently in my uh, haul video, and this color is beautiful. I didn't. I don't know why. For some reason, I didn't think I would like this. Uh, this color, but I do. It's just really, really pretty. Even though it's matte, these are super duper creamy. I can't say enough good things about that. Uh, and then I have two eye products here. This is another, well, they're both Mimi Box products. This one is the IPKN My Gel Stealer Auto Pencil in Royal Affair. And I'm where I have that on my waterline, and it's it is dark blue. It stays so well. I am impressed. I am definitely, I already Googled you know, uh, where I can get these and more colors. This is just fantastic. And I remember when I tried this on for you guys or when I did first impressions of it I was like oh it doesn't glide on very well it might not do that but it stays on my waterline I think because it is kind of drying it works much better for my oily lids so I would highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it and then this is the Clio Kill Black waterproof brush liner and this is fantastic another hit um just you could create a thick line, a thin line. Okay, it's almost really, really nice. Two more products to talk about. This is the Sephora Favorites Time to Prime, a head to toe primer kit. And I really think this is a great value. If you could still get your hands on it, I would definitely say get it. The The things in here that I would consider getting a full size of uh, is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I felt like it worked well for my oily lids. But this is going to last me for a long time. I feel like this is a generous size. And that's what I like about this kit is they didn't give you mini small foil packages or very tiny samples. These are nice samples to, nice size samples for you to really test these out and see if you can, if you like them. I also like the X Formula Base Coat. I felt like it made my nail polishes last longer, which is always a good thing. Uh, the other full size, uh, well, you know what, this is one of the things I'm still iffy about. I like it, but the price 
tag on this. But the full size is a little bit scary. That's the Hourglass Mineral Veil, or I've heard people say Mineral Veil Primer, but it says Veil Mineral Primer. I don't know. Uh, this is a really nice product. I don't know if I would spend the money to get the full size though, um, but it is very nice. The, the three things that I'm, I probably wouldn't get the full size of is the Urban K Subversion Thicker, Longer, Stronger Lash Primer. I didn't feel like it really did anything for my lashes except just made them white. This by a lip primer, it just it did not feel good on the lips. And again, I didn't feel like it did anything. And this is a good product. I feel like this is a nice size. I'll have it for a little while. So I'm not going to probably get a full size anytime soon. This is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. I do like this, uh, but this is, like I said, and the very last size. product is Pixie by Petra Makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea. What a mouthful. I love Pixie products, the, way, the packaging. I think this is beautiful. And I just love that it's, a little bit pink this product I'm on the fence about I do like it and I think it works really well as a setting spray or you could put this on and your face feels refreshed there's just a few things that I would say is a con and one of them is the nozzle on here it's if you put if you have to have it a little very far away actually uh, for you to get that fine mist if you do it if you put it up close you'll just get you know burst of the product on your face and the other thing is that it's very fragrant now it does have a hint of rose but there's also something else I love my grandmother but it does smell like something she would spray on if you could get past that uh, I think you would like this product it's it's really nice and when things are so heavily fragranced I feel like sometimes it clogs your pores or you know it makes you break out this while it does have a strong fragrance I think the what's whatever is in here is really nice for your your face and i have very sensitive skin so um it hasn't broken me out or anything and i'm gonna i like to mix it up and then it's really really nice but oof, it's very very fragrant and that's probably one of the reasons why main reasons why i wouldn't get it i thought i could get past it but it's very very fragrant. So that is the end of my product updates video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I want to just show you the two eye products. Doesn't go anywhere. It's so amazing. I'm so happy with those two eye products and I usually do a get ready with me using all the new makeup products and if you saw my last haul video I didn't have something that I could do a full face and first impressions on so what I'm gonna do is I have a party that I have to attend and I have a couple of outfit choices that I'm still not sure about and maybe I could play around with the new lipsticks that I got and that's I think that's what I'm gonna do so watch out for that and yeah I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye